Can you retire with a 0% probability of success? Josh, you're, you've gone too far. You've gone too far this time. How devil dog dare you? So I'm working with a man, we'll call him Danny. Danny, all right? And uh, he and his wife are, uh, basically Danny works, his wife stays at home to raise the kiddos, and you know they're all out now, which is good. Danny had in the software the right capital that he's going to work another five years until he's 67. They don't have a million bucks, not far, far from a million bucks. And if you're going to stay home with one salary income to raise your family, I guarantee, most likely, you won't have a million bucks either. I mean, some of y'all can, but the vast majority of us, well, I don't, I don't have a million bucks. I'm just a little freaking caveman from Peaks Island, Maine. But anyway, so in the right capital, Danny worked for another five years until he's 67, or maybe until he's 65, but it's definitely another few more years. And they're fine, you know what I'm saying, because Social Security is kicking and blah, blah, blah. But the problem is Danny looks like he's going to get laid off at the end of, before the end of this year, right? So when we recalibrate right capital, right, man, if you do get laid off, um, you're going to have a 0% probability of success. Oddly, oddly, or ironically, however you want to say it, is that the probability of success went to zero, but the amount of money he left upon his demise, and his wife's demise was over 350000 bucks, And that doesn't include your house or anything. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I have a 0% probability of success when I die. I still have money left in my investments? Yes. Don't forget what right capital, not right capital, Monte Carlo, the probability success is due, my friends. Don't, this is incredibly important. It just says, what's the likelihood that you run out of money between now and when you go to your greater reward? And remember, the point about going to our greater reward is to hear those wonderful, wonderful words from above. Well done, good and grateful servant. Well done, good and grateful servant. That's what we want to hear. Good and faithful servant. Excuse me. Well done, good and faithful servant. That's, that's the whole point. The whole point of the game, to hear those words. So before we hear those wonderful, wonderful words, we have a, we have a 0% chance, i.e. a 100% chance of running out of money. That's what happened to Danny. Danny and his wife, Mitzi. Danny and Mitzi. But yet they died with $350,000 less. How could that possibly be? Well, because we had Danny taking Social Security at 70 and his wife taking at 69, which meant they'd have run out of money between now and by the time they took Social Security because they don't even have $300,000. So they're going to burn through all their money until Social Security kicks in, but then once Social Security kicks in, they got more money coming in than going out the door. So they did have a 0% probability of success between now, 62 for Danny, and 70 when he took Social Security, I think it was at 78 or something like that, he's going to run out of money. But then when Social Security kicks in, he was fine, because Social Security between, in this case, taking at 70, and his wife getting half his, his PIA was more than their expenditures, because they have no debt, and they're not very high... You know, they, they don't live high in the hog. It's normal salt the earth Americans, dude. So he didn't run out of money at death. He only ran out of money before Social Security kicked in. So what's the fix for this? Well, obviously, we said, Danny, let's have you guys take it, him taking a Social Security at 68, his wife's a year younger, her taking her full retirement age. So you won't get the full delayed earnings credits, but you'll get most of well, you get uh, a, a year of them. And then your wife will get her full spousal benefit, which would be half of your uh, PIA. And I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but I think his was 3500 was his PIA. Yeah, it was 3500 So if he waits till he's 68 to take social with a delayed earnings credit, he'll get like 4200 or 4100 I can't remember, and she'll get 1750 because it's half of his PIA. So that's almost 6000 bucks a month a, a month right there just in Social Security. They only spend not even 5000 a month. We'll just say 5000 a month for some wiggle room. That includes Medicare. So every month they get an excess, a surplus of about a thousand bucks a month, every single month. That month, that money is just being built into a, a brokerage account. So just because you have a zero percent probability of success, if you just change your things a little bit here, and then we had Danny Lee, because Danny's a pretty hyper guy like me. Well, I say hyper, but pretty, you know, fired up guy. He's like, I can't sit on my butt. So we had them both taking Social Security at the full retirement age. And I said, well, Dan, if you want to work, you know, make an extra 40000 a year for the next two years, wait till you're 70 to take Social. Um, I, I still don't think they should do that because his wife doesn't have any benefit on her record. But still, like I said, you could do that. You're fine, too. 
But just because you have a 0% probability of success, all they have to do is get you enough income in those two years for which your investments ran out of money and before Social Security kicks in. And those two years could be you work part-time, just working 40, 40 hours a week, uh, 40 hours, part, you know, working a job, a side hustle job, you know, making 40000 a year, that ties them over before Social Security kicks in. So just because you have a 0% probability of success. Now, obviously, we don't want him running out of money because what's he going to do? He could take a reverse mortgage, too. We don't want to do all that necessarily. He's going to take a reverse mortgage line of credit. He's going to call my man Don Graves. Don doesn't compensate me. I just like him. I trust him. Good guy. But he's going to call Don Graves and get the line of credit set up. And I said, okay. So now we got a source of income that can cover you for those two years before you take Social Security. But again, if you take Social Security at 68, 67 or his wife, he's fine. So just because you have that 0%, is there anything you could do to tie you over before you run out of money? And the answer in this case, yeah, you can work and take reverse mortgage, a million things you can do. But don't let the 0% like dissuade you. Say, is there anything I could do here to change this probability? And the answer is yes. Now, not for everybody. I mean, some of you all have to work till you're 92 years old. Ain't that right, Q Humor? Q Humor's out there saying, I don't want to work till I'm 92. Sorry, Q Humor. You weren't cute enough for the boss. You should have been cuter than the boss would have given you a better raise. All right. Love your thoughts. God bless. We'll see you next time.